Being drafted fourth overall in the NBA comes with a lot of expectations. Patrick Williams has experienced that throughout his entire career. He's been labeled the next Kawhi. He's been expected to take the torch from DeMar DeRozan on the Bulls. Unfortunately, he has not lived up to those expectations as of making this video. However, I have seen flashes of greatness in his play. Patience isn't often a word we use for a fourth overall pick, but I think Patrick Williams has shown us that patience pays off. Let's take a look at his career from rookie season to today to get a better understanding of the kind of player that Patrick Williams is. He's not quite a superstar, he's certainly not a bust, but the truth is somewhere in the middle. Pat is good, and that's okay, but let's look at the tape and see why he might get even better. Patrick Williams' rookie season. He was the youngest player entering the league, and he entered with the weight of expectations as a fourth overall pick, but also the leeway to develop on a pretty bad team, let's be honest. Instead of focusing on the turnovers and missed shots in this video, really what I want to focus on is identifying the early indicators of the talent that has always been there. Look for his shooting style, his confidence in taking these shots, and the foundational pieces like that step back move. Initially, his development was to be paired with players like Thaddeus Young and Garrett Temple, forming connections that were enjoyable to witness, but weren't always good for the box score. Over time, it also became apparent that Pat's lack of aggression was going to become an issue among fans who wanted to see him grow into that Kawhi Leonard player almost immediately, which obviously wasn't a very fair expectation. Even I engaged in some of that, and I apologize for my role in that. I think we were all just really excited to see the kind of player that Pat could become, because we did see those signs. He had slick passes as well, he wasn't a bad playmaker, so we did see those signs of the well-rounded star that we so hoped for. Next up, let's take a look at Pat's second season in the league, which unfortunately ended up being a sophomore slump due to injury. Heading into his second season, fans were really eager to see Pat drive more often, look for his own shots, and build off the glimpses of talent we saw during that rookie season. Unfortunately, the early season injury that he suffered against the New York Knicks to his wrist uh, pretty much ruined any chances of us getting a significant development in his sophomore season. We did get to see him get a career-high game in points against Minnesota towards the end of the season. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him join in on the fun that that Bulls team had that season uh, with the short stint that Lonzo Ball was healthy. So we didn't get to see how Pat would have gelled and performed with those players long term as well, which is a loss for all of us. We did see those inconsistencies again, struggling rebounding, foul issues, occasional defensive lapses. There were still many fans who were frustrated with his play, but I do think the evolution, the signs of the evolution were there. We could see that he was improving his game and becoming a more well-rounded player. Uh, we were just disappointed that we didn't get enough time, he didn't get enough time to develop those skills. At this point, it started to feel like his sophomore season was bleeding into his third season. This is the offseason when Pat started training with DeMar DeRozan, and we started to learn a little bit more about the player he would become. Heading into his third season, the expectation for P-Will was to break out as a star, and that was high among Bulls fans, given his draft position and where we are at in his career. Yet, while he hasn't turned into that superstar that many had hoped for, there's no denying the really good things that he has been showing us on the court. We're going to see some of those turnovers and missed shots in this video, but that's not what this is about. Again, it's about seeing the growth and development from this season and last season and the season before that and the season before that. So what you see here in his third season, there are still defensive lapses, there are still missed rebounds, there are still bad shots that he's going to take. That doesn't mean that he's not growing as a player. You might even feel like some of these clips are cherry picked, and that's kind of for a reason. I want to show the full gamut of good and bad so that you can see how people can shape that narrative, um, but also see the full picture and see how Pat truly isn't the bust that some people make him out to be, but is also showing some of those things that we need to see from a player at his position. Encouragingly, this was also the season we saw Pat become a more formidable three-point shooting threat, becoming pretty much the most consistent three-point shooter on a team that included Kobe White, Zach Levine, and Nikola Vucevic. Next, let's take a look at where Pat is at today, how he's playing this season, and where he could go from here. 
Let's start by taking a look at comparisons between dunks from throughout Patrick Williams' career to dunks from today. We know that Pat always is looking for that poster dunk. He's been doing it throughout his career, and while he's always given us the taste of a few highlight dunks here and there, more recently he's been getting to the free throw line and converting them more often than not. Take for example this dunk against the Miami Heat. It's almost the exact same play as this one from last season against the Spurs. Except against the Spurs, Pat didn't convert the dunk. Against the Heat this season, it's a poster. Each dunk here is from this season, and it showcases Pat's athleticism and power, a burst of energy, a moment of assertion that reflects his physicality and improved confidence on the court. These aren't just points on the board, they're statements. From thunderous one-handed slams to authoritative putback dunks, Pat is getting the United Center crowd on its feet. Next, let's take a look at drives and layup attempts. On this play from his rookie season, Pat gets into the lane but gets blocked at the rim. This play from this season, you're not going to stop Pat this time. He's able to get through the defenders and get to the rim with a crafty move and lay it up for two. Next, here's a drive attempt from his sophomore season that turns into a turnover when he throws it away. This season, again, there's just no denying Pat. He's able to convert a really tough shot at the rim on the same kind of drive. Next up, we're going to take a look at Pat's mid-range evolution. The first is from his rookie season and shows him taking a mid-range jumper off a ball screen. He gets the space, but misses the shot. Now in this season's clip, notice the contrast. Pat uses the ball screen with improved confidence and refined footwork. Now let's shift our focus to Pat's three-point shooting. The first clip is from his sophomore season and shows him taking a three off a quick pass. While he's positioned well beyond the arc, he still ends up bricking it. This season, however, look at the confidence. We observe a notable improvement. In this instance, Pat receives the ball beyond the three-point line with a smoother, more confident shooting motion. He takes the shot and nails it. Another mid-range shot here. Pat's wide open, the ball arrives in rhythm, but despite the ideal setup, the shot still just doesn't fall. Fast forward to this season. The scenario is totally different. Pat dribbles into a contested mid-range shot. With a hand in his face, he rises up and drills it. Let's compare fadeaway jump shots from inside the paint, starting with a clip from last season. The technique is there, but the shot still doesn't fall for Pat. Compare that to this season. Look at the lift that Pat gets on this shot. You can see the significant increase in the elevation, which gives him a better vantage point over the defender, and it just kind of adds more grace and force to the shot. Now, let's just turn to a montage of made shots from this season. Honestly, let's just enjoy Pat's improved game. You'll see the variety in his scoring, from smooth mid-range shots to deep threes to powerful finishes at the rim. Each play is a new chapter in the story of growth, reflecting the hard work behind his refined skills. While some may feel disappointed that Pat hasn't blossomed into the superstar in vision when he was drafted fourth overall, it's clear he is a solid player with significant room to grow even better. Pat's development trajectory reminds us that while not every player's path is lined with immediate stardom, consistent improvement and patience can lead to valuable and impactful careers in the NBA. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe and check me out at Shy Sports Ross on all the social media platforms. Talk soon.